So the Disability Mental Health Unit with Guilford Child Development uh, ensures that all children who have diagnosed disabilities are being served appropriately in the classrooms. Hi, my name is Carmel Shaw. I have four kids, three girls, one boy. And um, I have two kids that's in Guilford Child Development right now. Um, one named Dylan, one named Mackenzie. Um, Dylan actually has sickle cell disease and Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And I have an oldest daughter with sickle cell disease. And Dylan is um, really, really a strong little boy. We found out that he was um, diagnosed with sickle cell as he was born. He was actually 32 weeks when I had him. Um, then we found he had sickle cell disease. And then this year we found he had Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Usually kids find when they're like three or four years old with it. And when we found out that he had it, they automatically wanted to do the treatment on him. He's been doing really good on it. And um, actually he's walking now. Um, it's basically, um, his muscles are going to basically weaken. Um, it's a progressive weakness of his muscles, which they'll break down. Um, usually the signs are from when he start four or five years old. It's weakened, his, bone, his bones weakened to the point like you might see him fall more or he might climb, he can't climb the stairs or um, basically get up like a normal child would. And so um, usually by the time they get about 10 or 12, they end up in a wheelchair. And as they get older, they might um, start having problems with their heart and their oxygen levels and they have to be on um, oxygen. At, but it's kind of rare because he has sickle cell and Duchenne. So it's like two diseases combined. It's horrible. It really is because you don't know if he's having pain because of the muscle disease or it's because of sickle cell. Because in sickle cell, you have pain crisis, which basically the blood cells are not flowing like they're supposed to. So that's when they start sticking and you might have a pain crisis. They do do a lot for the community, Gift for Child Development, they really do. Um, all my kids has been in Gift for Child Development. You know, just getting your child some kind of education. You know, it, some people think that putting their kids in the Head Start is like a daycare, it's really not. They actually teaching these kids. We would also want parents to know that um, when their children are in the classrooms during the day, that their services are provided here at the center. So uh, speech therapist, occupational therapist, physical therapist, special education teacher may come in the classroom, work with the child in the inclusive environment, um, as well as they may pull them out um, of the classroom to work one-on-one -on -one with them. For example, we have a child, Dylan, who's at one of our centers in an early Head Start classroom. He has a physical therapist. Um, he was having a difficult time learning how to walk. So he had a special walker that they used and they did pull him out of the classroom and um, use the hallway there at the center because uh, it was a little bit longer runway for him to, um, you know, to use, to get used to using the walker. They've been accommodating him with, um, like he has a chair he sits in when it's time to eat lunch or breakfast. Um, They've been actually letting the physical therapists, you know, things like that come in. Whatever the physical therapists tell them to do, they try to do it with him without her being there in her presence. Like he had, um, before he could walk, he had walkers and things like that. They would actually try to train him to do it without me or the physical therapist there. So I do thank them for that. Um, they actually treat Dylan like a normal child, but they, they spot him like, like we would. So that everybody's trying to come together to make sure Dylan feels as comfortable as possible. And that's what I like about it. I am really excited for Dylan to be in a regular classroom. Regular students, you know, not saying that if he was to be in a disability classroom that wouldn't bother me, but it's just the fact that Give a Child Development is giving Dylan the opportunity to actually be in this program knowing that he has disabilities. So what we would want parents to know about enrolling their child at Go for Child Development if they have a disability is um, knowing that we work together with them as a team, uh, making sure that their child's needs are being met in the classroom. All of our classrooms are inclusive environments, so they'll be um, with other children that may have special needs as well as typically developing children. Um, 
We also work closely with the service providers in making sure that we provide any equipment or materials that the child may need. Uh, we do a transition meeting with the parent, the service providers, and the teacher so we have the opportunity to talk about what the child's needs are before they enter the classroom. That way we're prepared um, when they walk through the door with everything that they might need to be successful. Yeah, just about anything that um, we need, they, they are there. You know, they try to make sure everything is basically perfect for us. That's why I basically I'm keeping Dylan here next year, the following school year, because I feel like Dylan has actually grew to love the teachers and he trusts the teachers enough to if it's if it's something new that he needs to learn to do, then he's willing to let them help him learn it without him crying or feeling uncomfortable. And the the kids are here, they are not like mean to him. They don't see no difference in Dylan. So I'm just like, well, let's keep dealing where he's at. You know, I don't want to move him somewhere else and then he feel uncomfortable and then stuff start going downhill with him. And so we had a really big turnout and I actually seen, it wasn't just the staff, it was people, kids out there walking. That was like Dylan age, might be a little older. It was cool to see that because it's like, okay, you know, other people are actually interested in hearing Dylan's story. Any child that has any kind of disability, they're going to be all right. It's just a point of having a good support group. Guilford Child Development works to support families like Dylan's every day. Call today to find out how to enroll your child.